the former president trying to disenfranchise millions of voters. Even if you're a Democrat, even if you're on the left, you gotta see what he's doing. Request for justices to hear the Trump immunity dispute. Take us through this. Yeah, Brianna, we just got a one sentence order without any recorded vote or explanation. They have denied Jack Smith's request for immediate consideration of the claim that Donald Trump should be immune from criminal prosecution for interfering with the 2020 election, trying to disenfranchise millions of voters. The special counsel, Jack Smith, had laid out a case for why it was compelling for the Supreme Court to decide this sooner rather than later. And just a second ago, the Supreme Court denied it, again, with no recorded vote or explanation. It means that this case now stays in a lower appellate court. It could take now months before it gets back to the Supreme Court. It means that the trial of Donald Trump that was supposed to start March 4th certainly will not start on March 4th. And that's what they wanted. They wanted to hold him up in the court so that he not be able to do what he needed to do in order to run for office. They don't want him to be, any, um, be in any debates. They're trying to completely ruin his credibility because they don't want his voice to be heard. And clearly we see how hard they are going to destroy this man. Shouldn't this be, even if you don't believe that they are trying to destroy this man, I want y'all to understand how to read people, read signs, and, um, and see CNN has more important things to report on, more important things to do. But why are they so upset they can't, that they can't lock him in and tie him up with um, court appearances? Why are they so upset that they cannot get this dude out the way? Well, the reason is they know that he threat. He, he's, he's a bigger threat to the Democrats winning the presidency again than anyone else. And they don't want this dude to be anywhere around when it's time to run again. So, yeah, that is huge. Yeah. So, Joan, what we're talking about here is that this is now going to go through the normal, normal appellate process and it'll go to the Court of Appeals and that process will play out. And then maybe it might go to the Supreme Court after that. But for all intents and purposes, this this is a, a, a log jam, a legal log jam, I suppose, in the way of that March start date, as you were saying. That's absolutely true. That tough, tough? And Jack Smith, on behalf of the federal government, had said, Supreme Court, you're going to have to resolve this sooner rather than later. Please come in now uh, to do this quickly. And the court has said no. It, and it, it, as I said, no explanation. Just, uh, you know, obviously the implication is that Jack Smith, the federal government, is going to have to go through the usual hoops of the lower court. Now, that is what is standard procedure, but what the special counsel had tried to argue was that this case was so compelling, so important to have a former president held accountable for actions from the 2020 election. Uh, he did not invoke the 2024 election, but here we are right on the eve of that. Uh, and this now this trial of former President Donald Trump and all the related proceedings are just going to go right through to the summer. And who knows if it's just going to bump right up against the November election. Let's remind people, Joan, what's at the heart of this, which is this question of whether Donald Trump had presidential immunity in his actions surrounding the election. Yeah, the, the issue is that, you know, uh, Jack Smith had charged him with four four felony counts, you know, for the interference with the um, with the 2020 election, everything up to, you know, the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. Uh, and what Donald Trump had said is that he should be immune from this kind of criminal prosecution because any actions taken were part of his official actions. And a lower court trial judge rejected that, said, you know, essentially no, no one is above a law, the law, especially the president, the former president in this case. And that was the, uh, the situation that Jack Smith tried to emphasize, is that no one should be above the law, especially a man who tried to, you know, uh, defy the Constitution and perpetuate his time in office. No one is above the law, especially the people who are trying to use it against him for their own benefit. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. And now CNN is wigging out because... Things aren't working according to their plan. They believe that they are above the law and they can just hit whatever switch that they want to hit and speed things up so that they can shut down any political opponents that they have so that they can get the win that they desire. Like this right here is the biggest thing. That's why they, man, this, 
So keep on saying that no one's against the law. I mean, no one's above the law, but they continue to show that they think and believe, they firmly believe that they are above the law. What am I missing? Am I missing something? If I'm missing something, please let me know in the comments what I'm missing. I would love to hear it, but man, it's, it's, it's ridiculous what they're doing. It's criminal. This is criminal. What they're doing is, is criminal. Yeah, and what's fascinating about all this, Joan, and, and we're uh, getting Evan Perez and Jeff Zeleny to join us Great. on set with us as well. But the other part of this, Joan, which is fascinating is we just got this new story out of the Detroit News in the last 24 hours where there are new revelations, at least the revelations are on audio now, that Donald Trump and the chair of the RNC, uh, Ronna McDaniel, were uh, trying to pressure uh, those election workers in Wayne County to not certify the election results uh, in that county. And this uh, feeds right into Jack Smith's case that the, the then president was not acting as the president of the United States. He was just trying to cling on to cling to power. Yes, and you know, yeah. Jack Smith made a big point about the former president trying to disenfranchise millions of voters, and there was a situation right there in Detroit, Michigan. Again, right. allegations, but those, allegations, and those will be yeah. those will be tested in trial. But now that trial, where both sides would be able to present their case, is now months away. It's now months away, and now we are shaking in our tube socks because we don't know what to do. Things aren't working the way we wanted it to be working. Um, shout out to Conservative Mindset Tony, who also is a reaction channel. If you're not already following him, make sure you do. And I like this comment. He says, it's funny how the left says that Trump is not special and should be treated like anyone else, any other American, while pulling special moves they wouldn't pull on anyone else to convict him. They're going out of their way to treat him as if he is the, the biggest villain of, Go of Gotham City is what they're doing. They're acting like they are, we have to stop this guy or he will ruin everything for us. He would destroy the world if we don't arrest him by November 2024. We got to be slow not to see what they're doing. <laughs> like even if you're a Democrat, even if you're on the left, you're a liberal you got to see what he's doing. Um, they are going out of their way to try to shut this dude down so that they can receive the results that they need to receive come election time. And it's unfortunate that they plan dirty like this, but they're not even hiding their hand. Matter of fact, they are going so far to even use their own platform, CNN. CNN is supposed to report on serious, important news, right? <laughs> the answer is no, because they haven't for years. They haven't for a long time. They clearly show what side they're on, and that's the only information that they put out. Some information never gets showed. Never. Unless, like, they, they don't show a whole bunch of information about people being shot in the streets um, and committing crimes like that. But they will show when one person is shot or killed by a police officer, and they will show when there's a mass shooting because they want to stop all guns and, and the first one is they want to appeal to the to the masses of black folk and the black vote and everything. And so it's, they pick and choose, man. How can you trust CNN? I don't trust them. Not anymore. And I used to watch them faithfully. I used to be totally against watching Fox. Fox News, please. I ain't watching no damn Fox News. Seriously, but even Fox News have their own personal agenda. They don't, they don't report on things that don't um, positively affect them in their bottom line either. Like everybody got their 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 advertisers and their investors that they have to appease to. And that make me not trust any of their asses. Like for real, I don't trust any of them. They become in the same level as politicians to me. So when I'm that's why it's so difficult for me to find proper material to report on and, and to consider when I'm about to do my reviews and reactions, because. Where do I get my news? I mean, everybody's biased, except for the people who go independent. When people go independent, I listen to them, I, even if they are biased. Everybody got their biases. I mean, and if you think they don't, then look at you. You got your biases. You love people, but I bet you'll put your family, the people that live behind your doors, before anyone else. And then try to say you want your line and your, your pants on fire. CNN, they're worried right now. They are worried. They are concerned because... They know that they are not getting their way. They are having the temper tantrum, and they should.